You know why? Because I put quality in what I do. I spend time. What's good, y'all? And welcome back to another show with August with the shade. Listen, go ahead and grab your cups, because you already know I'm about to spill the tea, and y'all already know I keep the shade, okay? Today's video is going to be about Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Ice Spice, and also SZA. Let's go ahead and get into the tea, all right? Now, today, I want to talk about Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice, you know, debuting at number four on the Billboard, and how a lot of people was really, really mad about Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice breaking another record. Like, if it was somebody else, y'all really wouldn't care, but it's the fact that it's Ice Spice, and now that she's, you know, a part of Heavy on it, y'all don't like the fact that Nicki went in, but baby, let me tell you something. All of you barbs and all of you uh, fake barbs and uh, anyone. Anyway, with anybody that's fake supporters, right? I remember a time when y'all was so mad when Nicki Minaj and all of the other people was posting Ice Spice. Y'all was like, why is Ice Spice all on my timeline? That's because that is Nicki Minaj's artist, y'all. So therefore, every time that you post Ice Spice, every time that you're showing love to Ice Spice, Nicki getting paid, okay? So let's just stop with all that, all right? Let's just stop all the fan bases that's mad about Nicki Minaj having Ice Spice under her wing. Y'all can't be mad that Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion dropped the ball. Like, Nicki was gonna try to help them too, but they chose to be duds, okay? So let's just keep that behind and let's make sure you guys always remember that Nicki always lended a hand out, but they were not willing to receive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but with that debut, Nicki Minaj becomes the seventh female artist with the most top 10 songs in Billboard Hot 100 history, surpassing Beyonce. Now, y'all can't tell me that Nicki is not the queen. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj came through this year and literally lit the billboards up. She has been dropping song after song. Now, I don't know what's really going on because I seen something on TikTok where Nicki was sitting on, you know, Kim and Patty had me a little scared a little bit because last time I seen this video right here, you know what I'm saying, Nicki Minaj was with Chow. So, we don't know what's about to happen. Maybe that's the reason why Nicki is putting out all of this music or it could be Nicki Minaj is getting ready for a tour and about to show y'all why she is the queen again, okay? So, let's just get into something else that I want to talk about. I was so taken back by SZA and Doja Cat's um, approach at trying to get a number one song. Um, it really, really bothered me. And I'm going to tell you why it bothered me because I know SZA had some type of disdain, you know, Against the Barb's and Nicki Minaj, she doesn't want to come out and say it because she knows that we would drag her for filth. But SZA doesn't like Nicki Minaj allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Because of whatever reason, you know she has worked with the you know the River Cricket and they have done you know songs together. So maybe that's that's where her alliance is. But let's just say uh, SZA do not want this smoke over here. That's why SZA has been very very quiet. Okay, she does not want us to you know bring her face out, her old faces, okay? Because, you know, I, I see why her and Cardi B are friends because they both laid on that table and got a reconstruction, okay? But that's neither here or there because SZA did get her first number one. Shout out to you. Your music is dope, but you are a little weird, okay? You a little weird. Your nose weird. Your body... Let me stop. All of that's weird about her. But she also worked with another weirdo. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know who the other weirdo is, the other weirdo is Doja Cat. Now, I don't really have a problem with Doja Cat like that. I love the fact that Doja Cat shows a lot of love to Nicki Minaj and sometimes the barbs. But I, do, I really don't like the way Doja's approach is. Maybe she was trying to get another number one. Like, but it didn't work, okay? Because SZA did get her own number one because her song was already at number three. Like, y'all are so, like, weird in the mind that y'all was trying to, like, see Nicki Minaj lose. Like, The song debuted at number four, and SZA's song did not debut at number four. SZA's song has been on the charts. SZA's song is played 80 times on every single radio station a day in every city. Like, let's just really talk about it. These are heavily radio played songs, and still congratulations to her because she is another black woman receiving another accolade that is so amazing. But it is just the way that they did it. Doja Cat fans was on there trashing Nicki Minaj. So was SZA. Um, SZA even did, like, a little... Um, she even tried to come out and basically, you know, kind of shade us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just something weird about SZA that it just bothers me. But congratulations to her for her number one. But let's just say we're not giving a congratu um, congratulations to Doja because Doja did not make the scene, okay? Doja did, was not able to pull up in her limousine and get out on the red carpet to receive a number one record again, okay? She's going to have to sit there with say so, okay? Because we told you so. You don't win when you play dirty. Like, why do y'all Why do y'all not get that in y'all head? Like, please put that in your head. When y'all play with the barbs, we are always going to come ready, okay? We're going to come with stuff. Y'all best to believe it. So, Doja, I hope you learned a valuable lesson, okay? I hope you've learned a valuable lesson like you learned from these wigs that you used to wear in 2019 to now, okay? I hope that you learned because stop playing with us on the internet because we are not the ones to play with. So, therefore, that, so that verse that you put on Scissors, um, little, little sound, it just didn't work, okay? It sounded like a Kendrick Lamar. You sound like you've been in Nicki Minaj's basement very much so too long, and it's time to come on now and find your own style. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Also, I want to know what you think about Nicki Minaj surpassing Beyonce. What do you think about SZA and Doja Cat's little, um, I don't even know what they had going on. But, you know, I want to know what y'all think about it. Yeah, all right, I'm out.